Planet of the Fakes for Kids and Pig Star HH News. Haas Wayne Benham died on his first birthday in what investigators described as horror and pains, suffering 89 separate injuries. A baby suffered horrific sexual abuse inflicted by his mother and her boyfriend and died, in horror and pains on his first birthday, prosecutors said. Little Haas Wayne Benham was found to have 89 injuries across his body after being taken to a hospital in Cullman, Alabama. His mother, Crystal Ballinger, and her boyfriend, Jeffrey Hugh Brown, at first claimed he had died in the bathtub at their trailer after Ta. King the unresponsive baby to hospital, according to police. But an autopsy performed after his death found Benham had 38 injuries on his head and neck sustained by blunt force trauma. He had four injuries on each of his eyes, 19 on his arms and legs, 6 on his torso and 7 on his genitals as well as 7 burns to the right foot and 4 burns to the left foot. Police also said the boy's skull was fractured, according to court documents quoted by local media. Prosecutors say the injuries indicate Benham suffered both physical and sexual torture at the hands of his mother and Brown. Cullman County District Attorney Wilson Blaylock sought the death penalty after releasing the autopsy report, which showed Benham suffered 89 injuries, including 38 injuries to the head and neck. He said at the time of the couple's indictment, it's really unbelievable and just hard to read what happened to this infant child. His last 36 hours were spent in horror and pain. Benham died on March 11, 2014 the day he turned one year old, and his mother and her partner were indicted on capital murder charges in 2015. Crystal Ballinger was charged with aggravated child abuse, sexual torture and capital murder after her son Haas Wayne Benham was taken unresponsive to a hospital in Cullman, Alabama. Charges detailed in court documents show the pair were charged with aggravated child abuse, sexual torture, abuse and capital murder, according to Coleman today. Their trial was due to start this month but Brown's attorney requested a continuance and the hearing was postponed to an unspecified date by Coleman County Circuit Court, the Coleman Times reports. Ballinger, 27, and Brown, 41, also tested positive from